Just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any crazier, it's about to get crazier. Okay, let's talk about last night. I work, I come home, we cook dinner, we bathe, I bathe the baby, my girl takes a bath, when she comes out the bath, the baby comes out the bath, I get the baby dressed, she gets dressed, she then goes to bed with the baby to nurse him so we can put him off. While the house is quiet, I continue, my, I go back to working, I edit my videos, bada 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 bada. In between, export and export, in between importing and exporting videos, I like to go in and check on them. So I go and check on them and I see my girl violently scrolling through her phone. Whatever. I go back, do some more work, bada, 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 bing. I come back, violently scrolling through the phone. I do some more work, I come back, violently scrolling through the phone. She read every single article on, 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 in the world. So I go and take a shower and what I do is after I'm done my work, I'm sent for my real estate exam. So what I like to do is take a shower, then I lie in bed and an hour, I put an hour into studying for my real estate. So I'm lying in bed and I'm studying and I'm reading and I'm reading and I'm reading. But for some reason, I'm tired and the, the information wasn't sticking. I couldn't comprehend the information. So I said, you know what? I'm putting it down. I'll pick it up tomorrow. I put my iPad down. I turn over my girl still violently scrolling through the news. I go, she goes, Donald Trump is firing everybody at the Pentagon. I said, why are you whispering? She goes, I'm whispering because I don't want to wake the baby. Well, you have to speak louder so I can hear you. So basically, my girl went on line and Donald Trump fired a couple of people and because he fired a couple of people people are quitting because they like that guy so there's like this little eerie feeling that Donald Trump is staging some sort of like a hostile takeover because he's firing everybody that's not loyal to him setting the stage so then she starts talking about the Electoral College. And I had no clue about the Electoral College. So I, I'm thinking, yeah, I know the Electoral College have to certify the votes on December 20th. Um, and I know that technically Joe Biden and Donald Trump have zero electoral votes apiece because it hasn't been certified. CNN, Fox, MSNBC cannot call an election. The, electoral, the, the, the electors from that state when they go to the Electoral College to vote, they decide who the president is. This was put into place, I found out, because of slavery. Because black people is one third human beings and black people are stupid. So you can't have stupid black people voting because they don't know anything because they're dumb. So we have to implement an Electoral College so we could override the stupid votes of black people. So this is so that's why we have the Electoral College to oversee the stupid votes. And as we progress, we have stupid women. We have stupid gay people. We have stupid Puerto Ricans and stupid immigrants that come into the country to vote. So we have to monitor their voting against the white vote with the Electoral College. You get me? Okay, so I go, what the F is this all about? So then I go on Wikipedia and I read about the Electoral College and exactly what I just said. The Electoral College is something put in place so stupid black people, stupid gay people, stupid women cannot have more say than the white man when it comes to voting. My head starts to scratch. So, so what did I, who, what? 
I voted for Joe Biden. Joe Biden wins the popular vote in the state, or if Donald Trump wins the popular vote in the state, he is granted electoral votes. But they're not electoral votes, they're electors. Electoral votes is, is kind of a, a weird, a weird, it's not true. It's misleading. They're lying to us. You're not voting for electoral votes. You're voting to win the opinion of electors. Those electors will then go to the electoral college and then vote. So technically you are voting for the electoral votes, but technically you're not. Are you confused? Because I'm confused. So Massachusetts has 11 electors. The person that wins the most votes in the state gets all of the electors. Now, you may have noticed that on the map, there was like Nebraska was red and there was a little, 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 little blue. Nebraska and Maine does not do winner takes all. They split the electoral votes. What? So, Massachusetts has 11 electors. The person that wins the most votes, those electors will then take all of those votes and say, I, we, we the people of Massachusetts, all 11 of us, with the votes of our citizens, they have chosen Joe Biden to be the president of the United States. So here's 11 votes for Joe Biden. That's what happens. California. We the people of California, all 55 of us, has listened to the citizens of California. And they've, Donald, and, and Joe Biden has won the popular vote. He's won more votes. So we the people, all 55 of us, is casting a vote for Joe Biden for presidency. That's 55 electoral votes. And each state does that spiel. Once you get to 270, it's over. President is picked on December 20th at the Electoral College, sworn in on January 20th. Bada bing, bada boom. Everybody is happy. Unless it's 2016. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. We the people of Massachusetts. The citizens have spoken. They have voted for Hillary Clinton for president. We are voting 11 electoral votes for Hillary Clinton. Sir, help me God. 11 votes submitted for Hillary Clinton from Massachusetts. This is where it gets sticky. We the people of Pennsylvania, 20 of us electors, we've looked at the votes from our, from our state and we've noticed that Donald Trump has won the popular vote, which means he has won all the electoral representation from Philadelphia. But we, the electors, all 20 of us, have sat down and spoke, and we believe that Donald Trump should not be the president of the United States. So we are not going to vote for Donald Trump, we are then going to vote against the citizens of Philadelphia, of Pennsylvania, I'm sorry. And we're going to put 20 votes towards Hillary Clinton. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do that. The citizens voted for Donald Trump. The 20 of you guys have to do 20 votes for Donald Trump, you can't go against the citizens and think 
that you should take those 20 votes and put it towards Hillary Clinton. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. We know Donald Trump won the 20 electoral votes from 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 Phil, from from Pennsylvania, but we the people, we all 20 of us doesn't think Donald Trump should be president. So we're voting for Hillary Clinton. Okay. 20 votes for Hillary Clinton. We the people of Michigan. We know that Donald Trump has won the popular vote, which gives him all of the electoral votes for Michigan. But we, the electors, don't believe that Donald Trump should be president. We're going to take our electoral votes and give it to Hillary Clinton. Michigan, like we just said to Pennsylvania, the citizens voted for Donald Trump. You have to represent the citizens, right? No, the Constitution states we don't have to. This is called faithless electors. So the Democrats were playing dirty in the Electoral College. The Democrats almost overturned the 2016 election with this process. They came very close. It didn't work. Republicans are pissed. Like, you can't do this. This is unconstitutional. Actually, it is constitutional. Read the Constitution. Mitch, Graham, Cruz. Read the Constitution. It's in the Constitution. We don't have to... We don't have to listen to the citizens. We can pick whoever we want to pick. It then goes to the Supreme Court in July. The Supreme Court then says, listen, guys, 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 guys. This is how, the, this is how it's going to work. Whoever wins the popular vote in the state, in your legislator, and your legislation says that that person should get all electoral votes. When you come to the electoral college, you certify those votes and vote who the citizens have chosen. You cannot come here on no rinky dink on the yoki doke and vote for you want to vote for. The electoral college, right? The 11 people from Massachusetts could technically go to the electoral college and vote in Bernie Sanders. Howard Stern. Bobby Shakes. They can pick whoever the hell they want. But the Supreme Court says, this is crazy. You guys can't do this. You cannot do this. This is faithless. You are not... You're, you're doing the citizens of this country a disservice. If they vote for this guy and he wins all the votes, all the electoral votes in this state, then you got to come here and represent that state and certify your votes. What are you doing? So the Democrats played dirty. They almost overthrew the election in 2016. It failed. Donald Trump gets sworn in. Then the Democrats went to stage two. They lost the election. They tried to a hostile takeover in the Electoral College. Oh, a Russia investigation. Democrats. Hillary Clinton conceded the race. You then came to the Electoral College trying to not represent the citizens. You failed twice. Now you're coming up with a Russia spy investigation impeachment trial. It failed. The Democrats failed three times to remove Donald Trump. Now Donald Trump 
is the president. And now the tide has turned. Now the Republicans are going to try the same exact thing. They're going to talk to other states to overturn the votes for Joe Biden. And this is why Donald Trump might be the next president of the United States. We got to wait and see what the electoral, the electoral college will do. But the Republicans are sick and tired of the Democrats' bullshit. And I think it might come and bite the Democrats in the ass. Don't be surprised if Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. This is what's going on. The same thing the Democrats tried in 2016 is the same thing the Republicans are going to try in 2020. Crazy. Peace and love.